The goal of this mini term was to transform the underused courtyard in front of the engineering suite into a sustainable recreational area. Before the transformation, there was a problem with erosion and poor water quality. With the help of a generous grant from the Community Conservation Assistance Program, we were able to fix these problems and turn the courtyard into a functional area. We began the transformation by drafting iterations of the design before compiling our individual ideas into one master plan for the courtyard. After finalizing our design, we have presented our plan to the representatives from Durham Soil and Water Conservation District. The main feature of the courtyard is a newly installed cistern. The cistern collects water that runs from the top of the new engineering suite and then waters the gardens. We started by digging 200 holes in the eroded hill so that we could plant vincas. In order to ensure that the vincas would actually grow, we mixed compost into the soil. After we planted the vincas, we added irrigation in the form of drip tubes and then mulched the entire hill. The vinca will grow to cover the entire ground to reduce the erosion problem. We also transplanted the liriope and irises from around campus to plant in the garden so that we could continue the sustainability theme. The plants that weren't used in the garden were put inside the newly refurbished greenhouse. We began the planting process on the leveled ground by spreading out an even layer of compost and mixing it with the existing soil. After this, we laid out all of the pots and then began digging holes for the plants. One of the main components of our courtyard is a yin-yang garden. On one side of it, we planted warm colored plants such as yellow echinacea and gallardia. On the other side, we planted cool colored plants like Stokes aster and blue irises. All of these plants are being watered underground by drip tubes from the cistern. Next to the yin-yang section, we have a curved pattern of alternating colors. These swirls are made up of plants like ferns, hostas, and bee balm. After all of the plants were in the ground, we ran drip tubes from the cistern around all of the plants so that they could be irrigated with water from the cistern. The drip tubes run through the yin-yang garden, the vincas on the hillside, and the curved pattern. After all of this was completed, we covered the entire area with mulch. To define the path, we placed flagstones along the path and filled spaces with mulch. To define the halves of the yin-yang garden, we placed small stones in between the flower beds. In the next few weeks, YES Solar Solutions is bringing a solar array to provide the engineering suite with 5.2 kilowatts of energy. Additionally, NCSSM's Accepting the Greener Challenge Club will install a giant chess set for recreational use. After a week and a half of hard work, the 16 of us hope that this courtyard will become a sustainable recreational area that the NCSSM community can enjoy. Thank mm -hmm. you.